Yes, my people, welcome back to another match day vlog. It is currently um, like very early in the morning. It is 10 to 6 in the morning. I'm here at the Yarmouth train station already. Uh, and yeah, today is a massive game. I, I cannot stress this enough. It is Burnley versus Sheffield United. And yeah, it is a six pointer already in December. So yeah, it's going to be an absolutely massive one today. We come into this game after somehow, somehow losing that game against West Ham last week. If I'm being completely honest, we should have won, won that game. Our last three performances have been really good though against Arsenal, Crystal Palace and West Ham. Against Crystal Palace as, and West Ham, arguably we should have got points from them games. But it is what it is, as they say, funny. Uh, football is a funny old game. And, you know, the only stat that matters is the goals. But yeah, but um, Sheffield United... United, Paul Heckenbottom could potentially get the sack if they lose this today. I think, I think it's more pressure on Paul Heckenbottom as Vincent Company's like our team was obviously seen more as a project. Uh, so yeah, I think I think he'll be, I think Company stay to the end of the season. Uh, I think he should. I mean, it is a project. You don't really exactly, you don't really call for someone's heads. Um, you know, at the start of a project, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, massive game today. But Sheffield United at home. They lost three one against Bournemouth last week. Which yeah, um, I know we lost two one. But yeah, I, it's going to be an absolutely tough and just can't game game full of. I don't know. It's just hard to explain. I, but I hope you know what I mean. But yeah, like I said, it was it is now currently like 10, 10 to six in the morning. It is actually snowing it down here at, in Yarmouth. That's why my hair is soaking right now. It is freezing. It's like negative two, negative three degrees. And yeah, no, my luck. This train's probably uh, going to get cancelled. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be asking you: Could you please make sure you smash that like and subscribe button? I mean. I wouldn't even be going to half these games if it weren't for, you know, producing content. So, yeah, if you could just take a few seconds to like this video and subscribe. It helps me massively. It helps me build up motivation to make these videos for you. Uh, and hopefully you just enjoy it. So, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe. And, yeah, my score predictions for this game. Oh, do you know what? I feel like we're going to... Uh, see, I'm going to say it can go over three ways. It normally can. A win, draw, or a loss for us, uh, <laughs> which is completely stupid for me to say. But yeah, I feel like we're gonna. I feel. I feel like we'll either turn up today and we'll absolutely batter him, or we'll just not be able to string five passes together and lose two 0 But I'm gonna go for a. F mm. I'm gonna go for a two 0 win for Burnley today. I am to be fair, I am confident. I'm always just I'm always just thinking about what if you know, what if we don't win today, what could the score be? But no, I am actually quite confident. If we go into this game playing the same way we did against West Ham, I am confident of a win today. But anyway, like, subscribe and let's get to turf more. Right, just outside the ground I have seen the uh lineup and yeah, to be fair. That gives me confidence. Brun Larson is in for Goodmanson. And yeah, I am going to stick with my 2-0 win. My prediction, 2-0. So yeah, I'll see you when I get inside the ground. Cheers. We are winning 2-0, I'm saying it now, 2-0. Go on Burnley, go on Burnley, go on Burnley. Burnley, 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 I'm 
Anyway, yeah, 23 minutes in, 1-0. Other than the first goal in the first, like, what, 15 seconds? I think it was genuinely 15 seconds in. Um, there's not really been too much to shout about. Um, chances here and there for both teams, but not really any really clear-cut chances. So, yeah, it's been quite an even game since, well, since the goal. I generally could, couldn't believe it scored in 15 seconds. Has not dished out more yellows to them. I do not know. 
I can think of three times where the ref should have dished out a yellow card. These are all dirty, man. Proper dinosaur football, I swear down. Oh, oh, Sheffield United could be getting a red card here. I don't know, I heard loads of protests from the other stands over there. I think it's only just a yellow card again. Someone's getting sent off, I can already sense it. Mate, a third goal just before half time would be absolutely amazing. Like, oh my god, that would blow them away. Mate, I generally don't know how, bit, how much I can stress in these videos how great Colio sure is. But, mate, he's only a month older than me. I feel so useless, but he's so good. Colio is generally going to places. Like, he is so good. Again, another yellow card. Jesus Christ. You can tell these are still stuck in the championship. Absolutely no style whatsoever. Another one! Hey! Sent off! Oh, go! Touch go! Touch go! Touch go! Touch go! Touch go! Touch go! Fuck off! Touch go! Touch go! Touch go! Touch go! Touch go! Fuck off! A minute and a half into stoppage time. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! A minute and a half into stoppage time. Sheffield United are down to ten men. This turn can't get any worse than them. I'm loving this. Yeah, Oldie McBurney, arguably their best player, has been sent off. He feels so good right now. 2-0 up. They've got 10 men. Oh, mate. They are crying over there. I can 100% feel it. Six-pointer for them. We scored within 15 seconds. Then we've got 2-0 up. And now they're down to 10 men just before half-time. We're on the attack now. Half-time. 2-0 Burnley. Sheffield United set down to 10 men. This generally could have been a better half. And the Sheffield United fans all booing their manager. What a half this team. Come on! Yeah, anyway, half time review. 2 0 up. Sheffield United sent down to 10 men. Honestly, I don't think the half could have gone any any better whatsoever. Um, I feel like we've been by far the better team. I feel in the first sort of 15 minutes, it was more of an even game. But yeah, since then, we have just been all top, all, all over them. But yeah, definitely a positive half. And hopefully, we can hold up for this win because, I mean, watching Burnley, you just don't know. But yeah, I'm hoping we can hold up for the win. The kickoff is back on the way. Come on! Go on. Oh my god! Oh. Go on. Oh, mate, Colo should get it home. Oh. You can definitely tell by the confidence in this team who's going on. We are playing so much better each week. And Jeff. I don't think we will stay up, but I feel like here we need a third goal just to kill the game off. Because well, I mean, if they score, like I can sort of feel that like they will come back into the game. But yeah, we need a third goal. But yeah, we're playing so much better than these. Now everywhere we go, we'll sing this on forever. Across the goal there rather than going for it. Vitinho and I should put a goal, but then a few seconds later, it's a beautiful link up play between Amdouli and Jay Rodriguez. Good killing this game. No, they never know more till we play Fasulas. No, no more. We hate Fasulas. Take Shuffles. Everyone's loving it now. His confidence is growing massively, you can tell. Sheffield United is making a little bit of noise, but I mean, can you, can you like blame him? 2 0 down, 10 men, and it's just been completely awful for him. You've kind of got to feel bad for him, but one man's shit is another man's treasure. So, yeah. I think we need to be careful here. We need to manage this game well. I, don't, I think we're still going for a third goal. 
which is fair enough, but we just need to be careful at the back. so much. I've not felt this happy in the year. Oh my god, if we get five here. Oh! Oh, but me. oh my god, just nearly scored a screamer. This game is fucking fantastic. Hey, life goes your shit! Sand the bird! Hey, life goes your shit!
five nil. Oh my gosh, they were singing. They go down and so are we, and we just score like that. Oh my god. What a goal that was by Sheffield United fans, I feel so bad for you, but this is so peak. Surely this is the end for Paul Heckenbottom. If he says it's the news, that's the first one. He's absolutely fine. Wait to shit on him. Yeah, man, wait to shit, shit, wait to shit on him. But yeah, we have, des we have deserved this so much. Over the last like, three or four games, we have played so good. The West Ham and Crystal Palace games, and, and even the Arsenal game, we were so unlucky to not get anything from that. And now we've scored five here against Sheffield United in what I would thought was going to be actually quite a close game. But yeah, we have absolutely ripped them and a new crack. But yeah, what a game it has been. Five star performance so far. And if we get a six, oh my god, that's just going to top everything off. Go on, go for Gino. Oh my god. Mate, that was nearly a world class goal by there by Vitino. Just absolutely fucking sends, sends this guy to the shop and nearly bends it into the far corner. Oh my god, this game just has everything for us going. They went down to 10 men in the first half, 2 0 up, one goal in the first 15 seconds. And now we're 5 up. Mate, I can't stress this enough. We have, we've been so good. Four minutes at a time. Could be a sixth goal. Imagine. Cody Archer just got man of the match. I'm telling you, this guy is a baller. He's only 19 as well. He is so good. Could be 10 in 10 on this I still can't believe that. Five minutes. <laughs> Fuck you now. Shit! Shit! You're fucking 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 shit. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'm back. Full time review, Jesus Christ. Um, 5 0, where do we even start? Goal after the first 15 minutes, Oli McBurney sent off. 2 0 up at half time. I mean, if you're a Sheffield United fan watching this, I, mate, there's absolutely no way I would be back in Paul Heckenbottom if I was you. Yeah, no, nah, yesterday was absolutely mental. Probably one of the best games I've watched in a long time. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next time. Subscribe to Bradley Miller. Subscribe to Bradley Miller.